think of themselves kind of look like a guy I used to know before I lived there named Ren. Thinking he was coming after me. You know what? You know what's funny? I knew it wasn't him. But when people said that it was my imagination, why would I imagine Bradley, little boy named Bradley, that was so young to be his dad be at my door teasing me like that? There's no way. He's that mass shark. Now, why would I imagine uh, all this other stuff if it wasn't real? My imagination woke me up in the middle of the night, dude, and made me look at that damn door. How could I imagine all that? Well, number one, imagination does not wake you up in the middle of the night. It makes you look at the door and see who's looking at you, and you actually see them. It is imagine that shit. You can't. I was in the middle of sleep. Well, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was in sleep land, right? I wasn't even dreaming. I just woke up. I wasn't even dreaming. Why would I want to mention that at that hour of the night? At three, you know, or two in the morning. What? What the hell? Don't imagine that crap. Why would I? Why would I? You know, I already kind of common sense and knew that they had to break down the other door to get in. I already knew I was dealing with something that's not natural. And I, and I didn't really understand because once you, if it was a normal burglar like Ren, once you already hear him and stuff, when the dog bark uh, would, would, would bang in that metal, that big metal door it shakes the whole porch, once you already hear that smashing in, I already hear the glass break. I already been waking up right there by everybody else, mom and everybody in the house would be awake. The dog would be barking and in. And he had to get through the other door to get in. But if it was a burglar, he would get through the other door too. When he, he wanted to stand on the porch and make jokes, come in for that, right? No, no. True. It's four of them. And they're not normal people. Like, why would I think that book of the monster, the wildlife, would be alive? I wasn't really into that book when I was a kid. I saw it, but why would I imagine him coming after me? He didn't look like a scary character to me. He looked like a fool. Yeah. But then the demon, now that's scary, you know. The wildlife, well, it, that thing was, then why would I mention it? A three foot skinny stick figure with white arms imitating Christ uh, of his arms on the cross. No, 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 that, that ain't normal, no. And one that just shaped his head and body like a human figure sitting there looking in. No, no, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Oh yeah, before that, I was getting taunted by a guy by the afro, a black guy. Yeah. He would show up anywhere when I was a kid, eh? My house, my friend's house, so around corners, you know. He had already gone and left me. Now these four pop up, and all these other ones now pop up, what the fuck? You know? Went through one phase, now phase two was the house. Then it became worse and worse. Yeah. Imagine that bullshit. What the hell would? <laughs> Stupid. Why would you want to imagine that shit? Who the hell? Stupid. This damn bus. I don't mind waiting for it. You want to have another cigarette? Yeah. It's okay. Uh, may, uh, you make. Uh, you make one, or you want me to make it? Up to you. 